Hi everyone. Welcome back to my math teaching again. So in this video, I am continuing with the trigonometric function, um, but the last section of it in our chapter six of the course introduction to calculus. Um, so in this video, I will talk about the um, inverse of trigonometric function and the derivative of it, right? So on the bar, I already have their formula right here. So I will upload this um, document to, um, to our course on, online um, um, and you can just uh, download and have it, right? So let's look at what are they. So I have on the left, I have a f of x, the same like con y function, right? On the right hand side, I call an f prime of x, which is the derivative of y function. So let's say I have a derivative of y equals psi minus one on the top of x, which is inverse of x, right? And you know that on your calculator, if you have a side function, let's say you key in side three over four, and then in your calculator, you hit side minus one, which is the inverse of it. Then you get this angle is what? So if you hit three over four, it's the same like 0 0.75, right? So let's see what is the, the angle supposed to be. So, Let's do sine minus one of 0 0.75. Got to be in radian, right? Yeah. So this angle is, um, okay, let me check the mode of it. Yeah, in radian. Okay. So in radian, this angle is theta equal 0 0.84. And we can draw up become 0 0.85 radian, right? I'm talking about the radian, okay? Um, so this number is the angle of theta instead of in degree, but it in, in radian. So now you understand what the inverse mean, right? So if you have a function, uh, the ratio of psi and the inverse of the inverse of psi is the angle, right? The inverse of psi is the angle. So what does that mean? Now in notation, you have the, let's say you have a function y equal the inverse of psi you also can write this function at arc, arc, arc psi x, arc psi x, like that, right? And if you have a function equal the inverse of the uh, cos, then you can write at the arc cos x as well. So arc cos x, arc psi x, y equal the inverse of 10, you can write it as 10x. So these notation, it's just the same one we talked about, okay? So this equal this, this equal this. You also have an inverse of secant x. And you know that secant is the inverse of the angle. So that's why it's the same like cos, the inverse of cos, but instead of x, it would be one over x, right? and the inverse of cosecant. So instead of like inverse of psi will be inverse of psi, but the angle is one over x because you know the inverse of psi is a cosecant, one over psi, right? So therefore the angle is inverse like that as well, okay? So now let's see what is the derivative. So if you want to take derivative of the inverse of psi or x psi x, the answer here, one over square root of one minus x square. 
the inverse of um, cos x or the, the function x x cos x um, as cos x the answer for derivative exactly the same like the psi except that you have a negative fraction uh, so for for us for us psi x is the um, positive fraction so the inverse of cos x is the negative fraction so they are exactly the same but one is positive and one is negative now the inverse of 10 x the derivative of the inverse of 10 x is one over one adding with x squared. So you will examine this formula from your course. Okay, so now I would like to go into the details a little bit. I will show you, I will show you. Now you will say, oh, where this formula come from, right? You want to know how can we know that um, the derivative of the inverse of psi x is 1 over square root 1 minus x square. How do we know that? So I'm going to show you and prove it to you, right? Okay. So let's talk a thing about the first one. So we have y equals psi x. And but remember now we want to talk about the inverse of this function, right? It not it not this function, but the inverse of this function. So the inverse of this function will be x equals psi of y. You know that like inverse, it means you interchange the coordinate, right? If the coordinate is x and y, x comma y, the inverse will become y x. Right, so so this is similar idea. So y equals psi of x, its inverse will be x equals psi of y, right? Now, psi of y here is the same like, um, psi of y here is the same like um, psi of minus one, x, right? So this is the end, the, um, yeah, so this is the angle, okay, the inverse, because remember the inverse is the angle, right? When you key in, the inverse is the angle theta, right? So now let's draw a quick triangle. Let mm. so <laughs> So let's draw a triangle. Now this angle is the angle theta, right? Which is the same like sine minus one on top, right? This is the angle. Remember this notation is the angle, right? So now we look at the inverse function here, right? This is the inverse, right? Inverse. So this, this angle is the same like angle y actually, right? Angle y. And it says angle y, y equal opposite over hypotenuse, right? Psi of the angle y equal opposite over hypotenuse, right? We can put one underneath. And this is the opposite of the angle, right? So we put an x in here, and one is a hypotenuse. So what is the length of this adjacent side? The length of this adjacent is one square minus x square. And one square is just the same like one, right? Okay, so now, we would say that um, the we're gonna say that we will take derivative of this inverse function, right? Let's say this is inverse function x equals psi y. So what is the derivative of it? You can say d over dx equal 
uh, cos, right? Derivative of, of this is cos y um, and d over dy. Or you can write like derivative of x is just one. You can do that as well. Equal on derivative of psi y is cos of y, y prime. Remember the short notation I show you before, right? Like that. So now I'm gonna solve for y prime because this is, we wanna solve for derivative, right? Derivative of this inverse function. Remember this is the inverse function, inverse, right? So y prime will be obviously equal one divided by cos of y. But what is one divided by cos of y? Let's look at the triangle. Cos of y, this is the y or sine minus x, right? Um, sine minus one on x on, sine minus one on top and x, right? Or inverse of x, right? So cos of y of this angle y is this one over hypotenuse. And over one, you don't have to write. So it's like this. So now is proving the derivative of this function, right, of this is this one, which is right here, that. So that's how I prove it to you, why the formula came from. You get the formula here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do two more Let's do the cos and 10, and you will see. It's exactly just like that, right? Okay, so let me engrave this. Now let's do the cos one. So I'm going to do the cos one, number two, which is cos minus one on top as R. I'm going to say this is like X, as cos X, right? But to get this, we will take the derivative, you know, we will take inverse, right? The, the original function is Y equal cos X. This is no inverse, right? But when it become inverse, you interchange between x and y. So this y become x, and this x become y. Basically, this is the inverse of invert of cos of x, right? This is the inverse function. So now we will say, okay. So this put a one underneath again. So cos of y, which is this angle y, right? Cos of y equals x. Um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So at this time, hypotenuse still one, adjacent is down here, x. So it means the psi is one square minus x square by the Pythagore theorem, right? So now we'll take derivative of this inverse function, right? So derivative of x is one, Derivative of cos y is minus psi y, right? Minus psi of angle y, uh, uh, minus psi of angle y. Also y prime, right? So now to solve for y prime, y prime will be equal, I'm gonna put negative on top, right? It doesn't matter one side for uh, negative for a fraction. And down here is psi y. And what is the psi y? Psi of y equal opposite, which is this one, the psi over hypotenuse, right? So here minus one and opposite over hypotenuse, which is this number. And that's why you have the same exactly formula, but with the negative on top. And if you look at here, that's exactly correct, right? So that's how I prove it to you again. This is the derivative of the inverse function of cos, of uh, the inverse of cos x. 
And here on top is um, the inverse, derivative of the inverse is of this of the inverse function here is positive exactly the same. We just did it before. Okay. So for the 10, it's similar. Let me finish the 10 as well. Now the rest of it secant and cosecant, I let you accept this formula for now. Okay, I don't have to go through this because this video will take too long, right? So I'm going to prove you sine and cos and tens for you to see where is the formula come from at this moment. But then you have to try to remember the formula, right? When you take the derivative of these trigonometric function and apply to, now once you, 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 you know where it's come from, it's, it helps you to remember them more easily, right? I guess, okay. So now let's do 10. So we have y equal 10, x is the original function. Now the inverse of this will be x equal 10y, same thing, right? So now we're gonna say 10 of this angle y, uh, y equal x over one and 10 equal opposite over adjacent, right? 10 of this angle equal opposite. So now for, for 10, we have to change the side become opposite over adjacent. So the adjacent will be one. And therefore the hypotenuse here will be one square adding with x square, adding, right? Not subtract, right? Okay. So now we're gonna say inverse, which is the in inverse angle, right? 10 minus one, x. Same like the y angle y in here, right? So 10 of this will be equal opposite over adjacent. So 10 minus one x, which is the angle, right? This is the angle y and y equal opposite. Um, 10 equal opposite over adjacent. So opposite um, over adjacent. Opposite over adjacent. Okay. Um, okay. So now let's take derivative of this, this function. Okay, so this is the function, right? The inverse function x equal 10y, derivative of this is one, derivative is C, derivative of this is secant square x, uh, sorry, secant square y, y prime. So solve for derivative, y prime will be even one divided by secant square y. And we know this is the reverse, right? Of course, right? Because um, cos of y equal one over, um, no, secant of, secant of y equal one over cos, right? The inverse of cos. So in here we can write, this is equal cos square x, right? And what is a cos square x? Um, Cos square x. Okay, so cos square x is one over hypotenuse, which is this one. But you square it, so it becomes one over one plus x square. And therefore, it proven this formula, right? So I have proved for you three of them. Now I'm going to leave this and this. If you um, still like wondering, you can ask me later. But today in this video, I only have time to show you this stuff. But you know the formula, right? So I will. You will have a file upload, and um, 
you will use this formula when you have to do derivative of the inverse function. Now, this will not be a lot exercise about this um, because this is the first introduction to calculus. So I just want to introduce to you the inverse formula and maybe there's a couple of one or two question to find derivative inverse function, but we don't we don't go deep into that um, until the second course or you know higher level. Okay, so I hope you enjoy my uh, brief video, and we'll see you next. Stay tuned for next one. Um, give me a thumb and hit subscribe. Thank you. Bye for now.